Hey VC, this is Ron. I'm back for a short video today. I just got back from the record store and I picked up a few things that I want to show. And then I'm going to show uh, what I wanted to show in my last video, but uh, it, it just ran too long. So what I got today was I got the first Cramps album. And this is the first issue with the original cover. Um, the immediate, sort of immediate second pressings of this had more uh, purple lettering and this has got the white lettering and the song titles, some of the song titles differ on the cover than what's actually on the record um, I'm just sort of learning about this band so I don't really know uh, all the details behind that but uh, like one of the songs that's listed on the cover is Strict Nine which I assume is a, a Sonics cover well that's not on the record so I don't know if they changed the record or if they just changed the cover. So uh, I know uh, Vito Richie's a big Cramps fan. So Richie, please inform me of what the details are behind this album. It's this thing is totally near mint condition. It's on the original IRS label, uh, 1980, and it has a used record store sticker on here of three dollars by the record trader and the record trader was a used record store that I used to go to in the early 80's um, they closed down shortly after I started going there Some, sometime in the early 80's, early to mid 80's I think is when they closed down but uh, I didn't have a, one of their price stickers in my collection so that was cool to, to get that I believe this is the original shrink and uh, yeah I, I listened to this and this is just killer album I never really listened to much cramps but uh, Vinyl Richie kinda got me into him I started watching videos on YouTube and uh, this, this album is really cool man it's kinda like the Stooges meets Rockabilly and it's, it's the, the guitar work is just phenomenal on it just really good record. Uh, I wouldn't say it's not a five star classic but it's four stars. Their they're best album let's say that. And it's produced by Alex Chilton and uh, so I was really happy to get this and I got this thing at a smoking price. I mean I paid up on it but I was look, doing some checking on what these sell for and uh, I got way way below what they sell for. So just a really nice beautiful copy here. And also I got this 12 inch promo of the Buzzcocks and it's on the old style IRS label and what this record is it's actually this record but it's a promo and it's probably it probably had a real cover at one time and uh, the cool thing about this red wax so that's pretty neat. Promotional label. And uh, this is actually like a six song EP. Came out in 80. And uh, in the UK it was originally uh, three seven inch singles in a short period of time. And then uh, IRS picked them up and they put them on a 12 inch. Really good stuff on this. And then the, the final thing I picked up, I picked up uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders Revolution. And uh, this is the album that came out after The Spirit of 67. I haven't heard this yet, so I know it's not going to be any Spirit of 67, but um, hopefully there'll be some good, good tracks on this. Clean as a whistle, three bucks. Goodbye. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to show is I'm going to get into this Sid Barrett box set that I bought in, uh, it came out in, out of the UK in uh, 1994 and there's no record or CD or anything like that in this, it's all paper but uh, I think you'll enjoy seeing this it's a limited edition of 1500 copies and what I will do is I'll move over to the bar and I'll do a bird's eye view look at the box and uh, so uh, we're going we're gonna to go over there now 
Okay, what this is, it's a uh, box set called Terrapin. And it's the complete collection of the original 19th Sid Barrett Fan Club magazine, 69 to 75. And it's put out by the Vinyl Experience in the UK, 1994. This is a COA. And uh, I got copy 944. Now, I don't think these are original. I, they're probably repr reprints, but if they are reprints, they're done very well. I mean, look at that cardstock cover. And More than likely, I don't think they're original because the paper just don't look like it would be you know, 40 years old. This is a membership card that you would send in to join the Sid Barrett Appreciation Society. And uh, I don't think I've got these all in order. They probably got mixed up. I'm not going to flip through every little page. I'm just going to kind of give you a view of what they're like. Cheaply, they were cheaply done. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that you know you'd never ever find like the originals, at least not a complete set. So, pretty neat. I never have gone through and read all of these. I probably should start working on that. Oh, here's uh, some information on Sid. It would take me a long time to go through and read all of these. I should probably start doing it. I just had this thing in storage for a long time, and I kind of forgot about it. And then I was going through some stuff, and I came across it. after he cut his hair. Oh, it also had a little 
pin in it. It might be an original fan club button, you know, that's been reproduced. They probably originally sent this out to members. Alright, that does it man. Hope you enjoyed seeing that. It, I think it's pretty cool, you know, very historical in nature. It'd be awesome to have originals of all these. I don't think these are original, but cool no nonetheless, you know. So yeah, I'm going to have to go through and read these things. Alright, that does it man. Take care.